So, you expect big changes in your life, but you keep doing the same thing. The Definition of Insanity by Albert Einwich. That's not his name. Albert Einstick. Einstaunch. I love your colon, girl. It's my world. So in my quest for the perfect bowel movement, I've tried many a path. There's been many times throughout my vegan journey where I've just had absolutely amazing, perfect digestion, and I lose it. I lose why. I lose the why. Why did it happen? What was responsible for it? And I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I know that fruit just glides through me like a hand glider but in Canada I can't do it I can't do just fruit I've tried it it's too much it's too much to think about the fruit isn't tasty I need to taste things in my mouth so I'm making a big switch today I've removed at least temporarily the juices from my diet I'm gonna give in to your temptations a lot of people say it's the juice, you're removing the fiber. <laughs> so I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see. Okay, see you later vegetable juice. See you later pasteurized fruit juice. Let me show you what I'm gonna eat today to poo like a hero. This is meal number one. We have the mangoes sitting there on the cutting board next to a family of blueberries. They were wild blueberries frozen, but They've been thawed overnight. They're now warm. Oh, we have figs here. Eat the blueberries first to prevent the blood sugar spikes. Thank you, Dr. Gregor. You're the best. Then the mangoes, because they will digest fast. Thank you, John Rose, for your sequential food combining abilities. And then we'll have the dried figs. They're dry <laughs> and fig-like. And then we have some spinach to follow it off. Fo follow it on. And that's going to be meal number one. I'm doing two meals today. And the next meal is going to shock you because it builds the muscles of a thunder cat. Oh my god. How is this possible? How is it? Is this a pose? These two mangoes are my mom's. I'm stealing them. Take that, mom. My mom always has these fruits and they just, I feel so sorry for them. What is this? That's, that's too squishy. That's not normal. That's not what a pear is. No, no. So I'm rescuing the mangoes from destruction by nature. And the kiwis, uh, how do you like the camera? I'm using it in the house. I said I wouldn't, but it's so easy. It's so easy. And it makes my arm look so long when I do this. My arm is 10 feet long. That's a vegan diet will do that for you. Spinach. Great for smoothies, sandwiches, and more. Yeah. I'd like to see the sandwich you had in mind. Let me guess. You got your processed meats, your smoked sliced chicken, you got your Havarti slices, and donkey bacon with a little piece of lettuce. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> back from a bike ride to the grocery store. Got a bunch of papayas, a couple cantaloupes. We got vegetables out the yin yang. So yang like. There's more, there's more in there. Don't look at this shelf, this, this is the shelf of devils. Devil children shop there. That's where they store their food. That's my mom's shelf. Buyer beware. I saw lupini beans. I couldn't believe it, never seen them before. Thumbs up if you've watched my bean video where I 
went through all the different types of beans to find which was the highest and lowest protein beans. And these, I think they were number two. They were a late addition. I just discovered them. And they're like just as good as soy. So super protein. I've never tasted them. I'm curious. Maybe I'll taste them before this segment is over. So I'm ready to have dinner now. It is 3.52 on the P. Ah, you son of a bitch. I have no idea if this camera focuses close. Does it show any of that? Homemade sauerkraut. I covered up my microphone like a donkey bitch. In this pot, we got parboiled rice with broccoli and purple onions. Oh my god. In my opinion, parboiled rice is the answer to what is better, white rice or brown rice. Neither. It's parboiled rice. It's a big debate for people. In my experience, I do not do well with brown rice. It's too sharp. The fibers just stab you. And a lot of people have this problem. It's not just me because I had colitis. What's that guy's name? The fruit and strength guy. He also can't eat grains. He gets blood. Grains are just harsh. A lot of people can't do them. And I don't know why some people are more robust. I don't know if they have colons that are thicker walled and they're better able to handle grains or they just have more mucus protecting them. Probably a little bit of both. So brown rice is out for me. I might as well eat kitchen knives. It's just sharp. So I eat white rice. It's not like white rice is a very nutrient dense food, but that's where the parboiled rice comes in. I don't understand the full process, but they like cook it in the bran first like they boil it or something and then that soaks in the nutrients from the bran into the white rice part and then they shell it so it's like the ultimate of both worlds it doesn't have the harsh fiber but it does have some of the nutrients from the outer shell the bran and the outer shell i don't know what that thing is called fiber Go fuck yourself. So the sauerkraut, then that rice meal, then we got the extravaganza. Oh my. I know that looks about as appealing as a swamp child asking for help, but it tastes delicious. It's just brown lentils soaked overnight, cooked for a couple hours with kombu. I soak the lentils with the kombu, and then I cook it with the kombu too, just for the heck of it. It just draws in more minerals. Why not? Get your seaweed in, the iodine. It's important for your, your penis. So that's what I eat in a day. I'm always tweaking, but roughly I'm staying high carb. I'd love to be more raw. Like John Rose, he inspires me so much. I wish I could do it. I feel like I'm disappointing myself. But I was in that store and the fruit was just pathetic looking. It's not ripe enough and it's not fun enough. So until I'm in the tropics, and I will be there, you better believe that, whether it's Thailand or Costa Rica, I will be there. And then I will tell you if raw food is worth doing. Because right here in Canada, it's debatable. You can get some health, but it's not the ultimate pinnacle because the fruit sucks. I forgot to mention, never eat rice and beans together. I don't care who you are. I don't care if your grandmother said it was okay. She lied. She lied. You gotta eat the starch and the protein separate. And I notice it. I, I when I've eaten many meals of rice and beans together with veggies, and it sits there like a rock in the desert night. So eat the rice and veggies first, then beans. Then we got some friendly action down there. So that's what you gotta do. You gotta do it. Try it. If you don't believe me, try it for yourself and try to prove me wrong, bitch. So I think we're done here for today. I think I will add in, if I taste the beans, I will add that in right now. Whenever you buy a can of beans, you gotta rinse it. Rinse off that salt and whatever crazy citric acid nightmares are in there. All right, first ever taste of lupini beans. So 
don't do. What the hell? What was that? They're hard. They're hard, they're salty, they taste like plastic. Yeah, great. I'm, I'm getting protein gains, but not worth it. Would not buy again. I might try to cook them further. Maybe that'll help get some of the salt out and soften them. Maybe they're supposed to be like that. I don't know, but I don't recommend them. I feel bad for the me of the past that's coming up right now that has no idea what's about to happen to him. Pray for him. Were they delicious? I don't even know. You know, and he knows, but I don't know. That's weird. Okay, thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you hate that I'm using this camera. How dare you? It's so much easier. I know it doesn't sound as good or look as cinematic. None of that is blurry. But it's just so easy. I don't have to focus on nothing. I don't have to hook up a mic. I love this thing. I would make love to it if I could. I might figure out. Is there? No. I don't know. Might not work, but I'll find a way. Okay, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos. Make the gains. Oh my god. Just, just get a little work in. Work out in before you eat. Do a couple push-ups before your meal. What's that gotta hurt?